I have an upcoming series called The Meta Soil Project where I'm comparing six different mediums in a quest to find what's the best. One of my findings is how different the starting pH of different soils are. Now, if you're running organic, it doesn't matter that much, but synthetic nutrients require proper pH in soil, and if you neglect the starting soil's pH, you're already off to a bad start. If your soil's pH is out of the appropriate range, your plant won't be able to eat and it'll likely cause lockout. It's also important to know the starting EC or PPM, which measures how much nutrients are in the soil. I'm gonna show you how to do a soil slurry test, which measures your soil's pH and PPM, which you can balance before you start using your soil. What you'll need is equal parts of water and soil, a large container that you can mix them in, something to stir the slurry, a strainer, and your pH and TDS meter. Before you begin, measure the beginning pH and PPM of the water. I modified my initial pH to a neutral seven, but ideally, you want to start with a comfortable pH for your plants, such as 6.5, to know exactly how pH changes in the soil. After you recorded your initial pH and PPM, pour the water, then equal parts of soil in volume to your mixing container. Stir it aggressively, and once you don't see any dry soil anywhere in the mix, leave it alone for 24 hours. This time allows the soil to fully saturate, and after the wait, give the slurry one final stir. Now you want to take this slurry and strain it into a clean cup. The reason we strain is because we don't want any abrasive solids brushing against your pH meter's probe, which could damage it. You only need enough water to fully submerge the probes, so once you have enough, Place your pH and TDS meters in, and after the readings stabilize, record your readings. As you can see, this happy frog soil I tested measures in at 4.94, which is extremely low, and this is why I recommend testing your soil beforehand. You want to start your soil at a range of 5.5 to 6.5, so in response, I'm going to balance this soil before using it by mixing in water that's on the opposite end of the pH spectrum. For a formula, check the description. Also, the measured PPM is around 1100, which is perfectly normal. You want it to be in a range of 750 to 1500 PPM, and this is evidence that you really don't need to add any nutrients for the first few weeks.